Okay, hey guys, this is Just In Time 712 here. Hope some people living near me are staying dry and warm because instead of it being really hot today as it is usually in July, it is actually cold and rainy. But if you, you know, if you look at the thing that on my main page of my channel, if you look just under this, it might say that I commented on a Wedge Antilles video made by Sith Lord, Sith Lord 229 and all that that mine I just got last week and mine is from wave 3 then you'll be wondering why I posted that well, right now I'm doing a review on my carded figure of Wedge Antilles since I don't have a, another one to pick up I will show, it, show you this one. You have the you have the usual vintage collection um packaging, which it has the Star Wars Return of the Jedi logo at the top, the Wedge Antilles name tag here, an awesome picture of Wedge Antilles of Wedge Antilles on the side, and then where the figure is housed. Some trivia with him. I watched a video about becoming, about Revenge of Sith called Becoming Obi-Wan Kenobi, and it turns out Ewan McGuire's uncle, don't quote, I forget since I haven't watched it in a while, but his uncle played Wedge Antilles, which was really cool. Um, you have the Kenner logo down there, and then the Darth Maul sticker, which is covering the picture. On the back, you have the Vintage Collection logo at the top. At the, at the top. Sorry about this. Wedge Antilles name. Have another picture of Wedge Antilles. There's a card back variant of him that shows the card... It shows the Vintage Collection card back, back here without the figure. Um, I believe that's the rarer one. I watched Sith Lord, and that's what he says, but I, he wasn't sure, and I'm not sure, or I think he wasn't sure, but I'm not sure, and this one is like the more mass-produced one. And then, like I commented on his video, mine isn't from Wave 3, it looks like, because it has Wave, like, past Wave 10 down here, because these three were held back till wave 10 ish, I think, which is really, really weird. Which I have seen this guy, this guy, uh, in stores, and I'm still looking for Ayla Sakura and Gnome and Noir. Also, I'm still looking for the Clone Trooper, and I've seen Kithaba in stores. Now, to the figure. He, I believe, the helmet is the same as the one from the, from the X-Wing Wedge Antilles that came with the X-Wing in the Legend, in the Legacy Collection. And then the body is a recycled Luke Skywalker figure. I'm trying to get some more light. It is from a recycled Luke Skywalker X-Wing pilot body. And then the head is completely new. Just trying to get get it in here since I'm using a webcam. So I have to look at the webcam. Yeah, this is a new head sculpt. But, what I'm wondering is, they could have just added the Wedge Antilles from the X-Wing. That's why I say to you both. That's what Sith Lord says. I don't know, because I don't own that one. So, yeah, I can't really say for sure if they should have just added this, that one. But, it's, but they also, I don't know how much the webcam will pick it up, but... He also has the hole on the belt. I don't know how well you can see there. I'm trying to get light on it. 
you can't really see it, but the hole on the belt for the Luke Skywalker X-Wing pilot uh, is there. He comes with a non-painted Rebel Blaster, which mine in the packaging is bent, if you, can if you can't tell. It's bending that way, like that, like this. And I said this in some other of my reviews, I'm using a webcam, so I will be redoing this, like I said, in other Hope you enjoyed this review. Check out Sith Lord's review for more information about this figure. Since I don't know that much about these figures in general, I just know some trivia of real life stuff. Um, and start and I'm trying, I'm going to try my best to get to the um, Star Battle of the Star Like Pit, Pit Lego know that, but, yeah. But, hope you enjoyed this review. Comment and subscribe. So, and until next my next review, keep collecting. May the Force be with you. Have a wonderful day, everyone.